so I'm here for one day, not even 24 hours, and I somehow manage to have my stuff everywhere, like brush, that's not mine, that's hotels, shampoo, conditioner, uh, my stuff just spread out everywhere. Like, I don't know how I do this, but it's okay, because I'm obviously going to clean up. No, I'm just going to leave it like this. Actually, I don't even need my stuff. Let's just, let's just go. I totally forgot to tell you, I was half asleep last night and it was like 1.30 I think in the morning and then all of a sudden everything came on because I had the TV on because I was watching it and then so it comes on and then the lights all come on and I'm like ugh so I turn everything off and I'm like now I have to get back to bed which it was, I, I still had like a great sleep and everything but it was just really funny that that turned on and I was like ah, ah, I was kind of freaked out because it scared me Out of all the days, Halloween, the power has to go out like, what are the odds? It's kind of crazy, but it was still, it was really fun, and the halls were so spooky because the, um, the emergency lights were on, so it was like a scary movie. One of my friends and I were down the hall recording, like, a pretend scary movie on his phone. It was really, really funny. I was grinning too much, though. I need to, I need to learn to act. Not my skills No problem. That was easier because there was yeah, a step. Yeah, I'm moving the Yeah. Oh, good. I, I totally bailed, so Mike was like, I have to go get your camera because that was hilarious. Because yeah. this kid, come here. Oh, this, come here. This is how far it was, right, Mike? Yep. Okay. Look at my body length. See, that's how big my body is, and I had to jump from that blue thing to that red thing. And then I was like, I can't do it. So in the air, I was like, nah, nah, nah. and everybody thought it was really funny. <laughs> There's my story of the day. Whip. I couldn't make it. I'm supposed to stand on this. I couldn't make it. I'm supposed to stand on you? Well, yeah, step up, dive roll through. I thought you were wanting me to dive roll all the way no, through. No, I don't think you can make that. I don't think I could either. Oh, is that the right instructions this time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, your turn. Was that less dainty? Less it, dainty. Yeah, it was still dainty? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna check it. Okay. Time to make our legs nice and strong. Are you are you going? Oh, you're fixing it, I see. He's making it harder for us. So our legs get even stronger than strong. Is that possible? This <laughs> is my terrible interpretation of Andre the Russian. Okay, are you gonna go first or me? We're going together. Oh, what? What if this falls over? John, you're wrecking all of the things right now. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Hey, are you ready? Okay. Three, hey, two, two, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Fail on my part. No, it was scary. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Okay, hey, and back. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, butt. Butt, butt. I'm way behind. Catch up, it's our drive. Oh. Ah, yeah. That was Whew. bad catching up. Why? I never said this was a lap. You're lucky this is out of focus. Oh. I don't know why. I'm glad. Uh. Oh, there you go. That's better. You gotta stay in focus. I like guess this. we just gotta be really close to my face and make me dizzy and stuff. Whoa! I thought I thought you were gonna push me over someone. No, I was pushing you out of the way. Rude! Rude! I get it. What? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm under you, pressure. You take a picture of me. I don't know what no, to that's, it's rolling. It's videoing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Say something Be witty. Like hmm. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so you're putting us on the spot. We're tired after gym. We just want to sleep. Or I do. Why? 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 Why are you so tired after gym? Yeah. Are you not eating properly? No. Why would I do that? Wait, wait. What did you eat today? 
Things and food. Things and food. Jovan, what was your daughter's mm. first word? What did you have for breakfast? Born, um, after maybe a while. Fruit Loops? No. Okay. I didn't have anything. Probably just. Oh, oh, oh shame. Shame. What? Did you have breakfast I had a sandwich. She missed breakfast. She missed breakfast. So she could say like. She started after or something. What? <laughs> it was just a you were being attentive on set. Yes. Okay. I was being a good girl on set. Uh, she didn't get wet. I didn't. I was supposed to get splashed with water, and I'm good. Uh, I'm dry as ever. That's because she hid behind two standings. <laughs> Are you even allowed to say these things? I can say a lot of things. How old is she? And put them on the internet? Because they have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. They don't know exactly what movie. They don't know exactly what scene. Sure. And, and you did actually, yeah. you know, test yeah. a, a wire rig for an actress. I yeah. did do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was pretty cool. And then I had to put also a uh, harness. Yeah. What, what is it? Harness. The harness on the actress because the set coordinator asked me to. <laughs> and it was awesome. This is weird. Okay, that's creepy. Dude. <laughs> Who's over here? Look, it's Mountain Man. It's the guy from the Mountain Man. I love that show. <laughs> oh my god. We got a tree down somewhere right now. All right. And then we got Swap Person of all this. Uh, <laughs> we got Swap People. Swap. You ever watch that show? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's someone from Duck Dynasty. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you look like Mr. Clean, actually. I love yeah, Mr. Clean. Yeah, He's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two, two reality stars and a commercial star here. Oh. And a horror film star. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, that is, that is creepy. <laughs> that is creepy. It's all in the eyes, you know? It's all about the eyes. And your eyes are telling me. Excuse me? You want to say that again? You can beat that. You know that. <laughs> You're the worst. This is no. just not... I'm, I'm not even I'm, affected I'm, by You know what? I'm, I'm being myself, so... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so should, I, should I not be myself and, and not? I'm not saying don't be yourself. Uh, just try to make <laughs> editing uh, for me uh, easier. No, you can either beep it or cut it out. But you know, at least it's reality. I am who I am. Like you are who you are. Aren't yeah. you? Aren't you who you are in these vlogs? Yeah, I just don't swear. <laughs> you don't swear, but I swear. <laughs> it's called the real world. Yeah. People swear. I know. Maybe I sw yeah. maybe I swear in the real yeah, world, but I don't you? in my vlog. All you say is but. I do say that a lot. But, but yeah. I say, oh, but. I, I, yeah, oh, but. But, um, you but. But, 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 but my gut. But my gut. <laughs> I actually have yeah. said that. Uh -huh. Your but Look, good. Mountain Man took his hat off. Oh, <laughs> Mountain Man has a dude. It's, so pretty. it's a pretty <laughs> nice dude for a Look at yeah. Mike. What is he up to? Mike? I don't know. He looks like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike, without, without his hair and his Fu Manchu, he's just Mike. Like, he doesn't have he any. Just, he you know, doesn't stand, stand out anymore. Apparently I wasn't interesting no, actually, enough for the Mike camera that you had to go like to everyone. Well, because you're like sitting like... Yeah, if you need a lot of video then. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what we have here... Oh, I'm not talking, man. The Sorry. Donut Man. <laughs> I'm not talking, man. Donut Man. Sorry. Donut man. Sorry. Donut Sorry. Man. Sorry, no release forms. Nope. I already know. Yeah. yeah, I know. I already know that Mike wanted me to record this, so I'm just going to say it anyway. I. Daryl pushed me, so I went to push him, and then I slid off, and it was really embarrassing. There, I said the story. Let's reenact it. No, I'll actually push him. The last time I okay, wasn't balanced. So hey, are you Daryl? See? Big and strong and tall. Okay, try again. <laughs> See, I can do it. I can do yeah, it. Every effort in her body. Try again. Try again. Now I feel wait, a little wait, wait, less wait, wait, wait. confident. Wait, my turn. <laughs> okay, because I have a pom-pom today. No! My hair is so messy! <laughs> we just watched Wreck-It Ralph, by the way. And I want to wreck it! Actually, it was a really good movie. Um, I just... I have some... a little bit of problems with it. Which I'll tell you guys about when you actually watch it. So watch it tomorrow so I can talk about it this, this in the next vlog. Midget review. Midget movie review. No, it, okay, actually, that sounds really good. Midget movie review. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the look, MMR. Look, look, look how short she is to be compared to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. No, no, you won't get my nose hairs. Come on. <laughs> double it is header. Double on header. Sandra Day. Double header. We're doing what? double header. What's a double header? We're going to see the Razzle's movie. Yeah, I know. We're going to the uh, man with. Man of the Iron Fists? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
It's going to be awesome. So much blood. Because our friends are in it. Because our friends are in it. Well, I, are, do I know people in it? Uh, yeah, you might have met Darren. Showing hot my way. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. I don't know whether or not I'm disappointed in myself right now because I've gone to three movies today. Uh, I went to Wreck It Ralph, I went to Man with the Iron Fist, and then I went to Cloud Atlas. And out of all three of those, Cloud Atlas was wonderful. Cloud Atlas is definitely one of those things that either people will love or they will hate and I completely understand why now. And oh my goodness, I just, I loved it personally, but <laughs> I know some of you will disagree. Wreck-It Ralph had a really good message in it and Iron and Man with the Iron Fist was just kind of the stunt part of me I had to watch. <laughs> it was It was funny, but there was parts that were like, okay, this is, one of those movies you're just going to see for fun. But, oh, I did some of my kicks today too, which felt really good. Like I went in between the movie break, I went home and I was like, nap time and kicks, go. Overall, everything in today was fantastic. Okay, and to make sure my camera is on for this talk. I was thinking this in my head and it probably won't come out the same way I thought of it. And that happens to me all the time. When I go to vlog, I'm like thinking of this amazing thing. And I'm like, I said it so well in my head. I can't wait to say it to my vlog. And it never comes out the same. Also, cause I'm like thinking of 70 things at once. Cause I'm like, I could say this and then I have to say this and then I have to say this. And then my brain just goes crazy. It's a super, super cheesy talk, but it just, it's something that amazes me. And I think it's something that you'd have to experience for yourself to make, come to this realization. So it's probably gonna sound a lot more lame when it comes out of my mouth than the way I feel about it right now. But I realized after watching Cloud Atlas that everything that I do in my life affects people in some way. It really made me think about my vlogs and how I love doing them. And it's so hard to explain sometimes why I love doing them, but this movie made me think about how every single person in your life, in my life, affects us in some way. And and it could be the smallest of ways. It could be like, I look at the video and I'm like, it got 3,000 views today. If that one person didn't make it 3,000 views, then maybe I wouldn't have been like, wow, my vlog did really good today. Like, that's just an example. I don't really think about that kind of stuff, but like, that's an example of how a person could affect my day. And the fact that I can affect all of your lives in some small way too, like somebody who just came across this video and kind of watched it and was like, uh, I kind of want to see Cloud Atlas now. And then they were like, I'm going to go see Cloud Atlas. And then they went and saw it. And then they saw it because my opinion of it somehow affected them and maybe they liked it, maybe they didn't, maybe they came to a realization just the smallest of things affects your life in some way and it's so 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 cool and it made me realize how much I appreciate doing these vlogs. This is a big part of my life. This, I know for a fact and I've said this many times, that I would not be where I am today if I hadn't have vlogged. I would have not met half of the people I've met. I've n I would not be the person I am today. And I can't imagine the person I would have been not doing these. I would hope still a good person, but I know that four years ago or three years ago, I was not as kind-hearted as I feel like I am today. I know I still have work to do because I still get jealous sometimes. I still have those bad feelings that we all feel, but I feel like such a better person than I was four years ago, and I expect to be even a better person in four more years. And it's so great that you guys all helped me get to that, and oh, it's just so intriguing, and it makes my mind feel so great. Movies that make you think are wonderful things. I know sometimes we just want to go and veg in a movie, but 
It's such an exhilarating feeling to think about all the things that go on in your life and the future and when you die. I know it's scary, but it's kind of exciting to think about sometimes. It's not about being dead or anything, I just mean the things you can accomplish within that time. You don't have to accomplish a lot. It doesn't mean you fail at life if you don't. As long as you're happy, I think that's what matters most. But I think what I find in my happiness, in my personal happiness, I like to strive for things. I like to go after things because it makes me happy. Although it is sometimes a burden because that's also what makes me sad because I can't get to my goal right away. But it's an exhilarating and fantastic feeling when I finally get it and that is like one of my favorite things and who make it's kind of what makes me me I guess but oh I just life is just oh and in even the saddest of times you can find amazing things to make you happy and even in the saddest of times you can find that happy spark and it gives me hope that things can get better fast there is hope awesome thing of the day I found my hope good night